Get off your phone. Get off your phone! Easter special! Oh, what's that? Four winters is having an Easter special. And... Chocolate and chick ice cream. Whoa! In collaboration with the Meringue Girls! Who are the Meringue Girls? They make amazing meringue. Okay, who cares? Get off! Oh, I can say that I'm pregnant in this video. Oh, yeah, you can. Guys, look, I'm pregnant. It's funny because you actually have gone so fat there. <laughs> We worked out as well. What happened? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm not fat. I'm six packs. Y he, you do not have. Don't lie. Show them your six pack. Then go on. Oh my god. Show them. I remember the days Where's I used to have pack? like an eight pack, and I was just like. <laughs> that, that I used to do that tense. Remember all the tense that this tense the bodybuilders do. Do, do they do that? <laughs> what they have claws like that? Yeah. <coughs> Anyways, we got a question to do. Husband forcing me for a threesome. Are they Muslims? Oh my god, she said Jazakallah here at the end. Salam Sandina, please keep me anonymous. Hope you're both well. Anyway, I'm 21 years old and I've been married for two years now. And alhamdulillah, I'm in a loving and happy marriage. However, there is something that has been pestering me for the past two years of my marriage. Loving and happy marriage. So the whole marriage has been... The past two years of your marriage, you've been married for two years. So it's been pestering you for the whole marriage. My husband, 25, although being so loving and understanding, has been bugging me for a threesome ever since our wedding night. I've tried to put it off for two years and explain to him that I do not wish to be a part of this haramness. His excuse has always been, it's my fantasy, I want to do it once at least. It has gotten to a point where we are arguing over this because he's always on Craigslist looking for girls to show me and expect me to like one for, his, for this threesome. Expect her to like one for the threesome. We have been having constant arguments over this and he has always blamed me for not pleasing him, which Islamically I am doing, but he has given me answers like, I'm not happy with you, that's why I look elsewhere. It really upsets me because I have done everything he's wanted intimately and of course halal, but he's still not happy until he has a threesome. Sorry for the long email, but would much appreciate if you could pass along some advice. I wonder how he would feel if you switched the tables and said, you know what, we can have a threesome, but it's gotta be with another guy. Oh my god, what if he does mean another guy? He doesn't, he's looking for girls. Oh. He's on the hunt for girls. And expects her to like what, to choose one. Is he crazy? Do, uh, do you know what I think is going on? What is going on with people, man? I think, people are fucking I think, crazy. It depresses I, me, this I shit I think in the me. past, why does it depress you? Chill out. Because I'm just like... I think, in the, I think in the past, or right now, your husband, I think he watches too much porn. He definitely does watch... Too much of something he shouldn't be watching. And has these Why, what? crazy fantasy expectations in his head. You're married. Bro, you're married. He should have asked you that before the wedding. Is this guy crazy? Let's give some advice to forget the guy because he's clearly a... Mate, do you know what the caring and that all that stuff is? That's, that's manipulation. I'm just going to say it out there. That's, he's being manipulative until he's you could be being, like... You know what? He does a lot of good. For me, and this relationship, maybe I should quench his fantasy. Do you know what's, what's mad is that he's been manipulative because he's given it all now. Oh, you're not pleasing me. That's why I'm looking elsewhere. Do you think that if you were to go ahead and say agree and you, you guys end up doing this gross ass thing, that it's going to stop there and that's it. It's done. Finished. You, 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 don't you think it's gonna, gonna be a it's gonna it's be a gonna monthly be an, occurrence, an occurrence, a daily occurrence, where bro. you're where he's wanting it all the time. And first of all, that is not gonna be Islamically for your marriage. That ain't gonna be doing you any favors whatsoever. Forget this. Let's just address the elephant in this room. Yes, in the, not in this room, in your room, wherever you are. Essentially, <laughs> he is asking you if he can cheat and you're just acting like it's a threesome? He's cheating. But he wants to, he wants to do it with you in no, the no. room. Yeah, so it makes it okay. But he's so cheating. It makes it okay. But he wants you to be involved in it, so you're okay with him cheating. Like... <laughs> Guys are so... Sorry, you think women are complex. Guys are so complex because... Yo, this guy is sly as fuck. Does he not think that you have feelings? There's so many of a woman's feelings would come into play with that you know what i mean so many things and he's clearly not thinking if that was us yeah and and it got to a point where we were arguing and you were like going on craigslist 
picking up. It would mom. never happen. I would tell. It would my never mom. happen. It's not even tell your mum. It's it's no. Like, sorry, sorry. Look, look, look. No, sorry. You're not supposed to do anything. You are supposed to get out of that relationship. It's completely obvious what kind of person this guy is. For him to be like, I'm gonna sweet talk and. It is force, if you think about it. He's pressuring you into He's pressuring you. You doing something you my, really don't my wife do. that I have married, I'm gonna I'm gonna pressure her into this fantasy that I have of having a threesome with a stranger. Oh it's so gross. Like that's bonkers. That is bonkers. Like what are you talking if you if you are that person, you shouldn't have married this girl. You shouldn't have. Well, you should have uh, asked You know her. what I mean? Oh so just gross. just or oh, you shouldn't be asking it. If you were that person Bruv, do do her a favor and flip in both of you split up and then you can go and fuck off and do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like that is weird. You don't just pressure people into doing that shit. You can't have everything you want in this world. Nobody can. End of the day. No, it's weird. You can't. Come on, it's weird. Yeah, but no, but I'm, I'm saying it will definitely be common. 100%. So many Whether it's common that. or not. Also, so many women will have that. Whether, yeah, whether it's common or not, it's, it's the fact that, okay, if we're not talking about being Muslim or not, we're not just going to talk about this video because everybody knows the deal. It's it's the whole deal of I do not like you anymore. We need to have a threesome. Yeah. That's 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 fucking weird. Oh, because and he and he's being nice to you, so it adds pressure that oh he's so nice. Yeah. He's so loving. And also, so you so you start thinking oh maybe it's not so bad after all. But it is bad. Listen, anything you're uncomfortable with and you feel pressure doing, it's like in marriage in general, especially when it comes to sex, uh, it's just, you just you nip that shit in the bud straight away. And how come it is? It is a thing that if he's so caring and loving, he has to be rewarded because this to him is a reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, got to be rewarded. Are you are you for not it. caring and loving? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and uh, would he do the same for you? Would he do the same for you? Because he's essentially asking you to be, you know, threesome. Obviously, there's going to be two people in that room who are the same sex. So it's going to be two females, one man. Now, you're a straight female. You are attracted to men. So yeah. he's asking you to be attracted to a woman for a short amount of time. Would he do the same for you? All I'm saying I'm is... I'm not saying that you would want to do you that ever agree shit to anyway, this shit. But would he do the same for you? Ask yourself that. I'm just letting you know, even if you think your marriage is not over right now, if you agree to that shit, I 100% guarantee you your marriage is over, mate. It's over. Once you see him do the deed with another woman and you're in the same room, oh, your marriage is over. I can't deal. Fact. It's going to be you who's going to have to process everything. It's going to be you who's going to have to deal... Uh, and then it's going to be you who's going to feel like you can't share how you feel afterwards because you agreed to it. If I was in your position, I would say you either stay married to me or you F off and you have your threesome, but don't come back. You can give me all the bullshit excuses of I'm not pleasing you intimately and all that stuff. Shut the fuck up. You can have, conversa <laughs> can have conversations about doing other things, bit of role play, whatever. You don't need to involve another human being, literally. He can shut the fuck up with that shit. This is not a request. It's not a request. It's not. It's you not. Know what a, it is? It's not. It's a, not, a, it's not a favor. It's not a request. It's not, a reasonable it's not reasonable. reasonable. It's not anything. It's not reasonable. Like, it ain't doable. <laughs> like what the heck, man? It's why are you. <laughs> Some it's people so are gross. fucking dizzy, man. It's not dizzy, dizzy, but imagine that's a horrible situation for her. Oh, it's just I feel for you, girl. I really do. You, you're mad. You're mad because you're putting up with this. You're mad. You're mad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, no, legit, I'm talking, the, the one who sent in the email, He's been you're, actu for two years. you're actually crazy. This still for being even, a thing. For even uh, allowing this conversation, conversation to continue for the last two years, since your wedding night. Look, since your wedding, he said that on the wedding night. I wouldn't wow. be, look, I would, there's some questions you need to ask him and there's some questions you need to ask yourself. And whether you guys should be in a relationship anymore. A good man would accept that it's his fantasy and would just contain it and control himself. Keep it inside. Do you think your wife doesn't have other fantasies? Yo, that she's not even gonna, she ain't even gonna say out loud Everybody to you. on this world has fantasies. They're called fantasies They're for called a reason. They're called fantasies. Like, it's a fantasy. 
for you to 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 make it a real thing and to pressure other people who do not want to do that that makes you a dickhead and a dog it really does whether you're caring or oh duh, duh, duh. make her a cup of tea in the morning oh, I'll make you a fuck cup of, off I'll make you some tea. toast and some I'll, I'll make you a nice breakfast <laughs> with orange juice give me a threesome now fuck off man <sighs> that stressed me out that one it stressed me out because of her. I'm just like, the position you're in right now, you shouldn't be taking this shit. You shouldn't. For you to even take this shit is just like, you obviously love him to bits. And he... Yeah, but it's hard, though. It is hard. And you can't sorry. Just, it's not easy to just... It's easy enough, enough for us to say, just be like, just forget him. Like, But it's not. Like, they're married. Like, it's not... I know it's hard, but... It's not easy. You I know it's hard, but you, you, need, you need to put the realisation in your head that if a person acts like this... They Imagine when you guys... They, they, you, that's not genuine love for the person. If you act like that, that's not genuine. It really Imagine isn't. if you guys, you know, later on want to build a family and you want to have children. And then after you've had a kid, he comes up that he wants to do this fantasy again. How are you going to feel? Like, no, no. It's all about self-control. You can't just have whatever the fuck you want. and You can't. Just because you're a man... Loads of Muslim guys like this, and this is why loads of Muslim guys have used the. Uh, they have this idea that they can have four wives to fulfill their sexual desires. Why are you not having to control yourself like every other human being in this world? But you this just is take... something else we're talking no, about. No, but I'm saying we're not even talking about four wives. We're talking about two, you, you, uh, your wife and a stranger in the same room while you're having sex with them. That's that's a different thing. That's a different thing. There's so many things <laughs> wrong with that. There's so many. That's not things even four wives. That. That's a different. That's a different. That's a. That's a. That's something else, mate. Don't what would your me. advice be? My advice be, lady. I told her. Lady, get out the relationship. That's my advice be. I told her. I wouldn't didn't say get out of the relationship, but if if it was me, I'd probably be like. I mean, I would have nipped it on the bud two years ago. First of all, I would have been like, uh, if that's what you're into, I'm not interested. Bye. You either. Don't mention this shitty fantasy of yours again. We'll think of something else where it's just me and you. This is why it's I... Not, it's not like you're not, not negotiating. She said in the email that she... This is why I think you should get over the relationship. I think you should because you have not said no. Or you have said no, but you, you've probably been open about it. That's why he's bringing it up for the last two years. So if you, if you do say, put your foot down and give a stern no... No, she's, she's done that. He's just not listening. He's just acting and manipulating, saying, be not pleased me in bed. I'm looking at the... And he's just carrying on with the plans on Craigslist as if this is going to happen. Because that tells you he's a dickhead and it's going to happen regardless whether it's, if it's with you or not. Exactly. That's why... That's what that tells you. That's why I'm saying get out of the relationship because, girl, he's going to break your heart. That tells you... He's he, going to break your that heart. That tells you he's got it in his head that this is happening. So he is going to have that threesome whether you're involved or not, by the way. What kind of dickhead is on the laptop looking at Craigslist, and showing other, his wife, other women, other women, for potential? Would you like that one? Potential threesome. Oh God, I'm so when, when, pissed when, off. When when seriously. when she does when she doesn't Lala's when that's not her thing. What kind of dickhead does that? Actually, Please tell me. Literally, <laughs> literally, if this guy is watching, or if any guy who is like this and is a Muslim is specifically, <laughs> go and repent. Yeah. Fuck go repentant, in, man. You're a dickhead. No, but seriously, <laughs> go and literally cleanse your intentions. Cleanse your soul. Bro. Cleanse your soul. You are cleanse not your soul. a piece of work. Cleanse your soul upon like, do you putting not... a sexual pressures on people do you... who don't want none of this shit. But it's not even... Cleanse your soul. It's not even... If you think about it, it's not even just to do with sex. It's that kind of person has no empathy towards others. He is unable... He's unable to, to be conscious of other people's feelings. He's unable to process that. He's so selfish... And so self-centered that he could only think about himself and his own feelings and nobody else's. Because how, if, if we're feeling for this girl and I'm really feeling for her, imagining, hmm. how is he unable... To, You're a husband, How man. is he unable to understand the, the shit tons of feelings and aftermath that she would be going through... And just focusing on what he wants. How? So just, uh, Other your, than the fact that you are a psycho... Put yourself who is in Who is unable sense. to... <laughs> No, but it's true. Who's unable <laughs> yeah, to... Yeah, no, it's true. To, to, you're so self-centered. It's unbelievable. It, you're so selfish. 
Put yourself in her shoes. Like that. Imagine it happening the other way around. Put yourself in her shoes and imagine That's it. That's what I'm saying. And, ima- done the same. and imagine it happening. Imagine yeah, it. Imagine happening. it. I, imagine it going. Imagine her going on Craigslist and then you pick Yala. Yeah, well, I guess that guy will do. Yeah, and then, and then she's, going ahead with it, yeah, mate. Just imagine that. She's 22, just, or 23. I know. Do you your know how mind young is that not, is? Your, your Do mind you know is, young? I remember when I was 22, yeah. your mind is not in the right place. No, you, but let me give you some food for thought. What he is doing, right, to you... Is it not normal? Is not is normal. normal. It's not, it's not normal. It's not normal, and it's not acceptable, and it's you shouldn't have to put up with it. You shouldn't and have to And to every put up woman with it. out there who is uncomfortable with the same thing, you shouldn't have to put up with it just for the sake of saving face and saving marriage and all that. No, he's too young and horny. He's not mature. He's not mature Sorry. enough to be thinking about. Uh, really, he should have got all this shit out of his system. If he, if he's got so, no, if he's literally got no self control, as he's clearly showing, then he should have got all of this out of his system before he decided to get married and and settle down and commit to one woman. So all the guys out there, you got your fantasies and stuff. At the end of the day, right? You really want to spoil the relationship. You really want to spoil the love a person has for you, the care you guys have for each other, all the years you have with each other, blah, 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 all the good times, all the bad times. The relationship you have with each other over something that could last five minutes. The fact is, it's not something that molds you into the person you are, the relationships you have. When you're fucking 80, you're not going to be thinking about, oh yeah, remember that one time I had a fucking threesome, bro. They it's probably not- will. But what I'm saying is, it's not, it's not something that affects your life in that way. It's not important for it's you It's not important. To do. It's really not it's important. It's not an important thing for you. It's not important. It's not a necessity in life. And when you're, like, you realise these things as you get older. When you're 20 and horny, you won't. But when you get older, you will realise it's really not that important. Yeah, he's, good. he's like 22 and horny. And when you're like that age and horny, all you can think about is the end yeah. goal. And that yeah. means nothing when you're older. Yeah. It means nothing because, like, there's, there's more important things in life. There really is. It would have been awkward if they lived with their parents. <laughs> Even more awkward. <laughs> yeah, because he's probably a cheapskate as well. He yeah, just, and yeah. would just wait when the yeah. parents are out. Your mum answers the door. He's like, oh, who, who's, who's, there's, there's a man who's just come here. Who is he? Oh, he's just come to fix the pipes. Uh, so I just th- got that. Just come to fix the pipes. <laughs> I, just, I just got that. That anyway, really pissed me off. I feel for you, girl. Stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. And um, don't take what we said lightly. No, you take that You have some seriously. serious things to talk about. Yeah. And before it's too late. Because it could really spiral out of control if one day he's just like, do you know what? I'm just going to go do it with someone else. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.